Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change the appearance of your mouse cursor or pointer, depending on what you want to call it, in Windows 10. So we're going to start by heading over to our Start button and then we're going to search up the control panel. Should be listed as a desktop app, so you want to open that up. And under view by category, you want to set it to either large icon or small icon. And then we want to go over until we find mouse. And then we go underneath mouse. And then we click on the pointers tab on this new window that appears. We can select a few different options if we want to customize our mouse. We actually could choose from predetermined schemes. So if we wanted to do like a Windows black theme uh, cursor or pointer, uh, we could also have a busy icon next to the cursor if the computer is processing something. And we have a little hourglass figure next to our cursor. Similar to Macintosh, how you have the pinwheel. So if we selected the busy icon with the hourglass, we did apply and OK. We can see that while the computer is processing things that it will change. And we also see that we've retained our black mouse cursor. Through these settings, you can also change the size of the icons. You can go between the standard regular size and the large size. If you select none, it'll go back to normal. And if you want to customize here, you can see we have a few different options here regarding different cursors we could have. And we could also select Browse here, and this will actually open up new icons that we could use. And will actually give us a whole bunch of new options, so if you let it load for a moment. Looks like we have a lot of different theme type of icons. Looks like some Windows 10 themes with some of the icon graphics look very Windows 10-ish, if you want to call it that. Apply and OK. We see that our mouse cursor changes and we have the little spinning icon next to it. So there's a lot of different customization options we can go through, but I'll leave that up to you guys. I just wanted to show you how to access some of these settings. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.